Hello friends, this is Dave of JavaCodeJunkie.com and welcome to another Data Access Objects video tutorial. In today's episode, we continue building our DAO implementation by creating an insert method. Let's go to our Employee DAO implementation class and to the insert method. I'm just going to delete the two lines that are currently there. Again, the first thing we need to do is to get a connection object from our database. Connection con equals database dot get connection. Then we'll set up our SQL string SQL equals insert into employees and we're going to insert everything but the ID. The ID is going to be provided by the database for us on a new employee insert. So we'll start with employee ID. First name, last name, and department ID. And then for the values, we're going to use the question mark placeholder so that we can use a prepared statement. One, two, three, four. Next, we'll create a prepared statement. PS equals connection dot prepare statement and using our SQL code. Now, before we can execute the prepared statement, we have to insert the four values for the employee ID, first name, last name, and department ID that are contained within the employee object passed to this method. ps.setInt, that's the first data element, and the value comes from employee, employee.get employee ID. ps.setString, the second, and again, employee dot get first name. PS dot set string three employee dot get last name. And finally, PS dot set int four employee dot get department ID. Now we can execute. So int result equals ps dot execute update. And now we have to close our resources. Database dot close prepared statement ps and database dot close connection con and we return the result. In the case of an insert statement, the result that's returned is the number of records that were affected. In this case, the correct result should be a one. And all that remains now is for us to test this method in our main class. Let's save everything. Go to our main.java. We're going to delete what's there. We'll get an employee DAO. Equals new employee DAO implementation. We'll create a new employee. The employee ID for a new record is zero since the ID itself is provided by the database. So we'll put in the number zero. The employee ID, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. The first name, 
the last name, and the department ID. And then we call the insert method, employee DAO dot insert employee. And that returns an integer. And we will sys out the integer. Right, forgot the brackets right here. Let's right click again, run as Java application. And we see the number one in the console, and that means one record was inserted into our database into the employees table. And we can verify that by going to dbeaver, right click on the employees table and refresh. And there we see the new record, John Doe, with the other parameters as we specified them in the employee record. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. I've appreciated it as always, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, please stay safe and keep on coding.